thoughts. So I talk a lot about the power of your thoughts when it comes to procrastination in these videos. And today I'm going to talk about the ultimate next level in getting past procrastination. And that's your emotions. Your emotions are one of the biggest blocks in this. So how do we deal with negative emotions that hold us back and cause us to procrastinate? I'm going to talk about a concept in this video. It's from Eckhart Tolle. And in my opinion, it's his best concept, the best thing he ever came up with really in all of his teachings. And that is called what he refers to as the pain body. What is the pain body? Well, it's pain and the body put together. The pain body is basically the remnants of all the trauma, past failures, past unprocessed emotions that you have built up. And it's like a trapped energy in your body. Now this pain body, this negative emotion flares up from time to time. Now, I'm going to read you a little quote here from Eckhart Tolle when he's uh, Tolle, Tolle, I'm not quite sure. Um, Eckhart Tolle, I call him. But uh, I'm going to read you a quote here. He's talking about this thing called the pain body. So let's try and find out what he means by it. So he says, the pain body wants to survive just like every other entity in existence. And it can only survive if it gets you to unconsciously identify with it. It can then rise up, take you over, become you and live through you. It needs to get its food through you. It will feed on any experience that resonates uh, with its kind of energy. Anything that creates further pain in whatever form, anger, destructiveness, hatred, grief, uh, emotional drama, violence, and even illness. So the pain body, when it has taken you over, will create a situation in your life that reflects back its own energy frequency for it to feed on. And finally, he says, pain can only feed on pain. Pain cannot feed on joy. It finds it quite indigestible. So the pain body. The real reason I'm bringing this up today is because um, I've worked with a lot of people on procrastination. And a lot of our focus has been on correcting beliefs, correcting thinking patterns, limiting beliefs and uh, maladaptive thinking patterns. Now, you can get all of those things lined up. You can learn all that stuff, but there will still be this thing called the pain body that's there. So really, I'm talking here today about managing expectations. Just because you're, you've got your thinking better and you're questioning these limiting beliefs that are there, does not mean that your negative emotion is just going to disappear like that. It's not going to change like that. Um, one of the biggest mistakes we make when it comes to this pain body, this entity that latches onto us and makes us identify with it, we say to ourselves, I am anxious, I am afraid, I am angry, etc., etc., I am lonely, is that we resist it. Okay, we fight against it rather than just allowing it to be. But also, disidentifying ourselves from it not identifying ourselves with the pain body we create a gap between us and that pain and then we don't have to act out of that pain that pain that pain body is a bottomless pit that will never be fully satiated it wants to consume it wants to create more and more pain now the reason it flares up from time to time is because it wants to survive and it knows that if it causes you too much pain, you will draw a line under it and you will take radical action not to put up with it anymore. It will become intolerable. So it comes in, it feeds, has this negative emotion, which causes us to act out in self-destructive ways to perpetuate more and more pain. And then it goes away because it doesn't want to push you too far. It's like a parasite that latches onto us, right? Now, I don't want to use too much strong negative language because I don't want you to even be afraid of this thing called the pain body because all its power comes from us identifying with it and also resisting it, wishing that it goes away rather than, first of all, here's the trick. Here's what I want to really share with you today. How do we move past this, this pain body? One of the best things we can do is, first of all, we don't identify with it. We don't resist it but we can figure out when it tends to flare up for us and be ready to start to 
feel those emotions, disidentify from those emotions and let them pass through. So for instance, it could be on your commute to work every day. It could be before you go to sleep. It could be when you come home to your partner at the end of the day, okay? You find yourself drawn to certain behaviors that will, you know will perpetuate misery and suffering for you, okay? You could oversleep. You might want to, you could stay up too late. You could have an, an argument with your partner, okay? You could constantly continue to rush in the mornings and be late for work, a pattern that goes on for weeks and weeks and weeks. This is the pain body. We know consciously it doesn't make sense, but we keep on allowing it to sustain itself off of us. So first identify when are these times for me personally that it tends to flare up and then be ready to feel it, not resist it and not act from it. Okay, so I, I really um, think this is such an important topic for us because as I said, the pain body concept is probably, I think Eckhart Tolle's biggest contribution to healing, spirituality, if you want to call it that. So guys, food for thought there. Um, if you like this video, uh, if you have any more questions, of course you can ask me or you can contact me on my website. Like the video if you want, it helps me a lot. You can subscribe to the channel if you like this content. And you can also contact me for one-to-one -one, uh, sessions online because I'm a licensed therapist and a psychologist and I do one-to-one -one online counseling with people to move past this self-sabotage and procrastination and uh, bury trauma effectively. Okay, so I'll leave it there for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching and uh, have a great day and I'll talk to you again soon.